Uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, so as I mentioned in the last video, E30 is gone. It's no longer holding down the concrete in this bay. It's a huge help. It means I can get cars in and out to work on them in here. Uh, we got the $600 330CI in. Uh, if you remember the last video, we found the key in the passenger door and uh, put, put a battery in it and she fired right up. Uh, haven't really done much with it, been busy. Uh, Getting the garage organized a little bit, um, getting some stuff listed to sell, get it out of my garage, uh, and finally did set up my quick jacks. It wasn't really too bad to do. The instructions were pretty simple. Uh, the only issue I had was one of the fittings uh, where the quick disconnects connect. They, they said to use thread sealant. And that one, for whatever reason, just would not tighten. So I actually did have to throw a little uh, Teflon tape on it, and that, that worked fine. I'm going to reach out to them and just see, you know, what they recommend. Um, but you see, we got her all set up on the jacks. So we're going to go ahead in this video, do a little checkup on, on it, see what it all might need. And uh, first thing we got to do is uh, get her up in the air. So let's uh, hit the up button. And away she goes. This is so nice. The, the jacks themselves are a little heavy uh, to maneuver around, but once you get them there, I mean, they, they've got rollers on the back, and then, uh, you know, this thing gets up in the air nice. So we're gonna have tons of room for activities underneath. I did already have this up and shake test it, so I know we're, we're good. We're on all the jack points. And you see, this thing gets high, man. So let me just get her back down to the locks. There we go. All right, so we're on the locks. So now we should be safe. So you can see she's she's up there. I forget the, the actual height, but you know we've got a lot of room to get underneath there uh, and, and do what we need to do. Downside is you lose some of the access, you know, to go in from the side. But if you're doing steering suspension work, oil change stuff, that, that's all pretty easy. It's, let's uh, let's get to checking this thing out. So. I already see these tires are pretty well shot. They're not quite at the wear bars. I don't see the air inside them. Uh, ooh, this one is pretty bad. You can see we've got a lot of inside edge wear. This tire keeps going flat too. Uh, let's see if we can find the... Oh, she is stiff. This is a... Uh... I bet we got a caliper stuck over here. Remember when we drove it, I, I said, oh man, it feels like a caliper stuck. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much at the wear bar here in the center. So these tires are done, but you know, that's not a big deal. We weren't looking to make this a daily anyway. So this one rotates really nice. And this one, not so much. <laughs> Holy cow, I barely turn it. But I bet you that's uh, also the source of our soft pedal. Um, let's see, back tires. Again, uh, pretty much at the wear bar. Oh, I got the parking brake on. So. That one rolls pretty decent. That one rolls good. Again, tires are all spanked. Uh, we'll probably we'll next shake down the front end, look for a loose steering and suspension components, so let me get you set up. All right, so I got you set up here. Let me uh, rock our wheels. You guys tell me if you see anything loose. Uh, specifically gonna be looking at ball joint here, tie rod here, and then also do uh, the 12 and six o'clock position. Check the wheel bearings. So. That feels pretty tight. Wheel bearing feels good too. Go to the other side. That feels good. That feels good. All right, so let's uh, let me crawl on underneath the front here in a sec. All right, so first thing I see, you got blown up boot on the sway bar link. It's so probably need a pair of those. Oh, bump stops are totally gone. 
These are probably the original uh, sacks or socks, however you want to say it, struts. Let's see. Under here, no signs of radiator leaks, so that's good. That hose has a stain dripping down from above, so that's not the hose. And it's not going back because it's going up on the hose. A little wet there on the timing chain tensioner, but that's probably valve cover gasket. It's pretty common on these things. We did one on the silver car, if you remember. Uh, control arm bushings. I'll have to grab a pry bar. You don't have to worry about this little ring. Uh, just some of the aftermarket uh, lollipop bushings use those. Uh, if they slide out it's not necessarily necessarily saying that anything's bad with that bushing but like i said we'll check it with the uh pry bar uh oil pan areas just a little damp it's actually really dry under here i'm kind of impressed i mean a little bit of seepage around here on the front of the oil pan but again probably dripping down from the valve cover uh, And you see up in here, it's uh, pretty dry. You see our cats. Exhaust is in place, all stock exhaust. Trans is dry. A little bit of maybe some scrapage, maybe they, oh, you know, that's probably a forklift. They probably picked the thing up with a forklift. Not a big deal, they didn't, doesn't look like they actually hurt anything, so that's good. Let's go on this side. Our rotors look, that looks like a brand new rotor. Look how shiny that is. Yeah, that's a brand new rotor. So did they only do one rotor on this thing? Um, the, try to get you a sight in here, but this uh, swivel link, the boot's busted on that too. There we go. So it needs a pair of sway bar links. That strut, um, bump stop is totally gone. We do have our ambient temp sensor. We might steal that for the silver car. I don't know. Depends on how cheap I want to be. Uh, expansion tank is dry. I have actually a receipt that they replaced that and the uh, upper radiator hose. Power steering line's a little wet. Belts look decent. Actually, the belts look really good. But the rest of everything under here, the front end looks good. Let's slide around to the back. All right, guys, so uh, we're on your uh, left rear, driver rear, for those of you in the States. Uh, again, original BMW socks, uh, shock, so that's probably trashed. Uh, again, brand new rotors, brand new pads. We'll pop the wheels just to be double sure. Uh, axle boots look good, inner and outer on both sides. Again, new rotor and pad back here. I bet he put all new pads and rotors on this thing. Uh, check our subframe mount. Uh, that looks good. Stiff bushing, it's hard to see, but it looks okay. I didn't hear any clunking when we were driving around like the silver car. Uh, sway bar bushings look okay. Diff is dry. Gas tank looks good. Man, <laughs> this thing, I can't, this thing needs even less than what the silver car did. That's insane, and this was $600. Uh, all right, well, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some wheels off here and uh, we'll take a look at the brakes. All right, so we uh, loaded it down a little bit, put on the first set of blocks. Uh, we don't need to lift tires up that high, just get look at brakes. So, of course, all the lug studs were frozen, but yeah, you see, these are brand new. Pads are like brand new. I don't see on the inside, but same thing. Fantastic shape, actually has the uh, wear pad sensor. That's impressive. Let's go on this side again. Brand new, I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust, but this thing sat at least since uh, October. That's when it was tagged. Again, brand new pads. Let's see, our bushings look good. Coil springs not cracked. Here you can see our bump stop has uh, gone to a two-piece design. And our boot has fallen away, <laughs> but these are uh, the originals, so you can't really complain. Sway bar bushing back there looks okay. A sway bar link, I should say.
this side. Let's see, coil spring looks good, not broken. Uh, pretty bad. Bump stop, but still one piece. Again, brand new pads and rotors. Amazing. I want. I really kind of starting to wonder why uh, this this guy parked it, but maybe it was. You know, he did all this work to it, and it was still having problems with the brake. So here. No, this is still a brand new one too. It just has a little bit more corrosion on it. We can try to uh, clean up the slides, see if uh, that is the issue, or uh, then we can see if the piston will, will go back in. But I'm thinking it is because that inside pad, you can see it's not touching the rotor at all. So I bet it's stuck on the slides. And here you can see the inside edge wear of the tire is really bad. But I didn't notice a pull. So I wonder if he had brake work done. He had tire rods maybe put on. I mean, they didn't clunk at all. Maybe he had some work done and uh, then just couldn't afford to do anything else and it sat. Note on the car says that uh, two tires were flat. Looked abandoned, so maybe we'll pop that caliper off and uh, see if we can get it freed up or see if it's the piston that's froze. Now we got something that means some business here. I mean, it's moving around, but they probably could use some lollipops, but this ball gun is pretty hard to check. Stiff. I don't know. I think they're pretty good. Let's uh, let's go to the other side. It's got movement. It's not crazy. Could use a set and our sway bar bushings don't look too bad usually these will open out pretty bad when you get some uh miles on but they look in decent shape i can't believe this car well let's uh let's see if we can get this uh brake off and see what we find there all right so we got uh caliper ready to come off i got the spring clip got the two uh seven mil hex bolts uh the sliders out the back so let's see if she wants to come off. Also kind of helps turn the uh, steering wheel, give you a little bit extra clearance. Wow, she is still on there pretty good. <laughs> I could say that this is probably the issue is the caliper because uh, she does not want to come. I thought maybe it had a wheel bearing that was sticky. Nope. Oh my gosh, this thing's on there. <laughs> there we go, now we're starting to cook with gas. Oh, there we go, oh my Lanta. All right, put this big thing up here. And we can see, you know, tons of meat on that pad, actually. I don't know why the edge is all messed up on it. That's kind of weird. This pad's all chewed up. Probably, maybe it's just crappy pads. Maybe they're just falling apart. I don't know. These uh, Techstar pads. I don't know what brand that is. Maybe they're just crap. But let's see. Is there a wheel bearing? Nope. Definitely not a wheel bearing. So, let's see. So, I got set up here. This is just a uh, Harbor Freight brake caliper tool. And let's see, crank around and see if that piston moves. Oh, oh no, <laughs> not at all. She is tighter than three coats of paint. Oh, my Lanta. Yeah, so that's that's our problem. And as luck would have it, I do actually have an extra set of 330 calibers uh, on the green turbo car, an old turbo turd. So we'll have to swap that out. I'm not gonna do that today. It's getting kind of late and I got a race all weekend, so we're just going to go ahead and 
throw her back together for now. And then I'm gonna give her any kind of lube. And we'll service that when we uh, replace this caliper. All right, well, I'm gonna fight and put that back on. Well, got her back down on the ground, buttoned up, uh, just enough so I can move it around if I need to. Uh, we still do have a tire that goes flat. I uh, bought some fix of flat. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put that in yet or not. This tire goes flat in a couple hours, so <laughs> we gotta do something with it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, she's ugly. I, I get it, but $600, manual, 330CI, clean title. Well, actually, I shouldn't say it. It has a salvage title, uh, but I do have a title coming for it. Um, put a battery in it, start it up. The old battery uh, is only two years old. That took a charge. Um, all this thing needs is tires and a brake caliper. And I mean, I say that with a caveat of any old BMW, all it needs is. But really, to get this thing driving it on the road, it needs a brake caliper and uh, some tires. So, still up in the air what we're doing with this. I, I think I'm pretty much against parting this out. It, uh, there's, there's so much good left in this thing still. Uh, she's ugly, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, you make an awesome drift pig or uh, actually have someone that reached out and uh, offered us uh, to buy this for his son for a drift project. And if he's serious, uh, he, he made me a really good offer. So I could potentially get away um, with really no doing nothing to this and making some money and moving it on, making room for another project. And uh, while we're on the other subject of another project, we got to finish the Silver 330CI. We got to get that moving. This is supposed to be a quick flip. We picked that up mid, uh, January, it's now mid-March, uh, it needs to go. Uh, I mean, I enjoy the car, uh, but we gotta get it finished up. I gotta see the little oil pan gasket, the steering rack boots. I gotta order some uh, engine mounts because I'm sure they're toast. But we're still all in well below our $2,500 budget for this car. So we need to finish this one up, get that on the road and get it out of here. Uh, and then we can find an, our next project. But uh, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Just a quick little walkthrough of uh, the $600 330CI. I can't, I couldn't be happier. I mean, this thing really just doesn't need anything. It's got brand new brakes all the way around. Steering suspension was good. I mean, it could use some shocks and struts. They're all original, but I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that for the next owner. You know, whatever they're going to do with it. If they're going to drift it, they're going to put their own suspension on it. Uh, I'll throw another update as to what we're doing with this car down the road. Uh, if he's not going to take it as is, I'll throw a caliper on it. I might still throw a caliper on it anyway, um, just for peace of mind. And that's about it. I mean, you know, it doesn't look like it really has any other leaks other than maybe the man, the, the, uh, Maybe the valve cover gasket might have a small leak, but it's not even dripping on the ground. The underside of this is dry, uh, especially compared to the silver car. That's pretty wet from the oil pan. So appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, love seeing the comments, love seeing all the new members, and we will see you next weekend.